So my last video I showed you how to do some uh, dramatic black and white photography for flowers uh, using an off-camera flash and a radio trigger etc. And today what I want to do is just show you how to do it just using the on-camera flash whether it's like the pop-up one here on my EM10 Mark II or maybe you have the, uh, the little FML3 that came with the EM5 and EM1. It doesn't matter either way all the settings we're going to do today are going to be pretty much exactly the same. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I've already done a full factory reset. So uh, let's see what the camera will give us just straight out of camera without you know making any changes. Well basically I'm in aperture priority. And uh, the only changes I've made here in the super control panel is I'm just going to shoot an anti-shock mechanical shutter large fine plus raw. But other than that everything else is at the default setting. So if we take a picture here, let me put the focus point right on the center and see what we get. And you can see it's a, it's a nice flower, but it's kind of an average picture, right? So let's try to get a little bit more creative. Now, uh, looking at the exposure, I'm at, uh, looks like we're at 1 320th of a second at five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the flash up, or if you have the small one, just attach it and turn it on. And right now, Let's look at the flash mode. You'll notice that the flash mode is in auto. So what that means is the, the camera is going to fire the flash when it thinks it needs to. And uh, most likely in this lighting it probably doesn't need to. And yeah, it, it didn't fire at all that time. So we need to change the flash mode to fill in. And fill in means basically fire the flash every time. But you'll notice what happened here is that my shutter speed is now blinking. So that's telling me, you know, giving me a warning that the camera cannot achieve the correct exposure because of the shutter speed. And in this case, it's locked to this maximum sync speed of 1 250th of a second. So what can I do? I can try a couple of things. I can try and put the camera into a different ISO. So let's take this out of auto ISO and put it into ISO low and see what that does. Yeah, and that one little change brought us to 1 200th of a second, which is within the sync speed of the flash. And now it'll fire the flash. So let's take a picture here. And you can see that that picture is almost identical to the natural light picture because it really didn't need much flash power. It may have filled in a little bit of the shadows, but uh, for the most part, it didn't make any difference. So what we need to do to really, um, you know, get a more creative or more dramatic shot is we need to go into full manual. So we're going to put the flash into manual mode, and then we're going to put the camera into manual mode. So let's go ahead and start with the flash first. So we'll go back into the control panel and rotate the front dial until we see manual. And you'll also notice here that it says full, and that means full power, but we can adjust this to, you know, different powers like half power, quarter power, all the way down to 1 64th is the lowest setting. So we'll start there. And then, uh, Let's put the camera into manual mode. So we're just going to rotate the front dial to the M. And we're going to make sure our shutter speed is at the maximum sync speed of 1 250th, which it is in this case. If it's not, just uh, rotate your rear dial until it is. And then right next to it is our aperture, and then we also have our EV meter. And, that, and the EV meter is going to be very important when we start trying different exposures to get a more creative look. But at this level, we'll probably get pretty much the same picture as we did in the, in the auto mode. So what can we do here? What I want to do now is I'm going to turn off the flash by closing it. And what I want to do now is try to crush all of the ambient light in manual mode, but do that within 1 250th of a second. Now I've already lowered the ISO all the way as low as I can to ISO low. So the only other option I have at this point is to raise the aperture. And I can do that by rotating the front dial. 
And now look at the EV meter. See how that's dropping down? I want to get that to get down to minus three or minus three blinking. Because if I go a little bit further and close the aperture to F16, you can see it's now blinking minus three. So that means I'm more than three stops underexposed. So right about here is about right. F14 to F16. So let's try F16, which is just past where it stopped blinking, and take a picture here. And yeah, that's nice and dark. I can still see a little bit of the flower. So let me crush that a little bit more. I'll just raise it to F18. Take one more sample shot. And yeah, that's a little bit better, not much, but <clears throat> now let's turn the flash back on. Because again, because the flash is a manual and the camera's in manual, that you can set the two things independently of each other. So right now the flash, I believe we're at full power. Let's take a picture here at full power and see what happens. Okay, we're getting there. So now what I want to do is I'm going to get this leaf, this other green stem out of the way. I think these were the daffodils. And thanks for you guys telling me what they were. I had no idea. I know nothing about flowers. If anybody can tell me what this flower, let me know in the comments below what this is. All right, now, now that I've got this leaf out of the way, the other thing I see wrong with this picture is the background is still showing this, this wall here. So the best I can do maybe uh, with that is let's lower the flash power a little bit let's try half power let's take a shot there and see if that helped yeah that did help quite a bit and now the flower is not quite as blown out as it was all right now Let's change some of the other uh, creative settings in the camera uh, that we can do a little bit more. So let's go into shooting menu number one, down here to picture mode, and we're in the natural color picture profile. But let's crank the contrast up all the way to plus two. Let's crank the sharpness up to plus two. And again, sharpness is really just another level of contrast, just at a much finer level. And then we're gonna change the gradation down here to low key. In low key photography, basically you're crushing the shadows even more. And let's see what happens with just that. And yeah, that's starting to look even better, I think. The last thing we can do is we can play with the highlights and shadows. So we're going to push the function two button, which the default setting is highlight and shadow. And you can see we have a couple a straight line from shadow to highlight. So we're going to rotate the rear dial. Uh, looks like clockwise to lower it down. And then we're going to, I'm going to crank the highlight up just one notch. And let's try that. And yeah, I think that's a pretty good picture there. The highlights are still a little bit hot, uh, so let me crank up. I can see the exposure change. I wasn't watching my EV meter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank the aperture up just one more notch to F20, and I'm going to lower the flash power just a tiny bit. My eyes are not good. Let's try one-third power because what's happened is the sun's come out from behind the clouds a little bit. And if we wait for the wind, yeah, that looks really good. All right, let's try another flower without changing any of the settings. I have one over here. Now that we have the settings, that we need generally for this type of lighting. Let me go over here and see what I can do 
on this. And if it's a little bit off, all I have to do is adjust the flash power a little bit. What's my EV meter saying? Still blinking negative three. Let's try that. Another tip is if it's too bright and you cannot get the exposure down to minus three EV or, or crush the ambient light down to almost black, you'll probably need to get an ND filter or you may need to get a flash that's high speed sync compatible. And I'll do something like that in my next video.